All right, dude. Lesson time. First art lesson. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> can you see me? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I just want to go over just line quality. Just we're starting out. Get the little sharpener right here. <clears throat> 6B. Uh, I like these Stadler. It's German, of course. Got to go German all the way. And six, so we have the B. Uh, the B's tell you um, that's the dark end of the spectrum for the pencils. So starting with HB is the, the lightest of that side. And going all the way to, I think, 10B or something. It goes up there, and that's the darkest. And that means the, the darker the lead, that means that the softer it is. And then H... Um, I guess you do say H all the way to the the higher numbers of H, like um, 6H or whatever. That's the lighter side of the uh, pencil, and that would mean the um, it's a lighter, it's a harder lead. So I just wanted to go over line quality right now, and um, just showing the different ways just to make line, just to get yourself familiar with the pencil. I just did a couple examples as I was planning out how to... Um, uh, just to show you guys different ideas. <clears throat> so let me just start off real quick. We'll just go over some. And what I usually do is, is I don't hold it like, I don't hold the pencil like I'm writing. I usually hold it, um, I guess more like a paintbrush. Yeah, just more like a paintbrush. Because um, what I like to do is use the side of the pencil a lot. Uh, the tip and you can still get thin lines without pressing straight down and actually you'll keep a, the point longer if you don't press straight down. So what it's going to do is have you use all sides of the pencil here. Some things you can use, uh, just these are little, little practice routines, is what you can do is start out, don't press down um, too hard that you break the pencil point, so you can do a lot of trial and error, but start um, we're gonna go from we're gonna go from wide down to thin. When we start out with the wide, we're gonna press down hard, and as we go down, we're going to uh, lighten up on the our pressure, and then change up the um, the the uh, the attack. Change up what the um, what it looks like on the paper. So we're gonna come down. Just start off fat, kind of pressing pressing down. And then you start to straighten it out, and then you start to lighten it up a bit. See how light that gets right there? You start off right on the side, get as much of that pencil lead as you can, and then come down, and then start to turn and straighten it out, and loosen it up. So you get just a faint little line. So do that, try that. So I'm going from wide loosening down and then do the opposite where you go press light and as you come straighten it down press hard so light the fat part of the pencil come down and go down hard here <clears throat> and then and also another thing let's section that off is to uh, pulse that what we can do is pulse where we go fat to thin, fat to thin, and so we can try it off going pressing down hard, going to thin, switch it up, press down hard, going to thin. See this, fatten it up, use the side, go to thin. And now do the opposite where you go light, and then give a, let's oh, see, I just snapped the pen. Go light and then to hard. Sharpen up the pencil. <laughs> and then now what we're going to do is um, actually, and then another t uh, trick is not a trick, but so let's just go from going straight down and we'll go from just practice doing the lightest lines that you can. Just get really just, you're almost like barely holding on to the pencil. Just want to get very light lines here, and then 
Uh, it's kind of more of a delicate thing. And then the, another way is just to do the, the harder lines, going straight down. I'm going a little bit slower, because sometimes if I go too fast, then I break the point. Yeah, just pressing down harder, get that the full extent of the, of the, um, the graphite. And then, um, and what I like to do is maybe take the side, maybe just do side. Curve around a bit, come shoot straight up, curving around, get some nice kind of things going like this. Going light, pressure, uh, changing up the pressure, going light to dark, switching it up with what the techniques we learned over here. Come back around. It's kind of just squiggling around. It's getting used to the the pencil itself. I find this. I love using this because it it's so it's like with a paintbrush, you start to get some depth going on in here, and it starts to build up uh, space and and mass and everything like that. And um, let's see here. And then what you can do, and you mix some of these, um, I guess we could start, so we have these three lessons, um, we're going from fat lines down to thin lines, going from heavy to light, doing the same thing, fat to thin, going light to heavy, we're pulsing, going from light to heavy, or no, heavy, fat to light, heavy, fat to light, and then we're going from uh, li uh, light, fat to heavy, thin, and then just straight up light lines down, fat lines down, and then doing a little squiggly uh, from light to thin and from fat to um, fat to heavy, wide lines. And really awesome stuff when you start doing this. Just real, and then just playing around with the with the how light and heavy that you're put the, the the pressure on the on the pencil. So then, when you start to draw things, you're not just going like, okay, here's a this is this and this is that. You might come down and describe it. Yeah, a little more interesting. So anyways, we'll start with those one, two, three, four little lessons right there. All right, take care, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. We'll see you another time. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.